Hello everyone, this is DM Gashbad, and I'm really excited about this next video. I'll be bringing you an actual full 50 level battle report for the Marvel Universe miniature game. No demo game, no intro game, no small 20, 15 level game. It's going to be an actual game between myself and another person who also knows the rules. So I'm really happy about this. Let's get straight into it. This guy came up from uh, down south. He came up to Great Escape Games on one of my favorite times of the year. It's their semi-annual gamer swap meet. So after I toured around Great Escape Games and I bought a whole bunch of Batman miniature game stuff, that's I'm really excited about that too, uh, we cleared a table in the front and we got to play this game right now. I asked him, uh, what kind of team would you like to play? I've actually got almost all the Night Models Marvel Universe miniature games guys, so I thought, uh, you know, I, I asked him, what sort of game he'd like to play. He said he's a Spider-Man guy, uh, and so we decided to play his Avengers Spider-Man team against my Dark Avengers team featuring Venom. So here's my team set up off of the table for the time being. We've got the Dark Avengers, we have the Sentry, oh that that brutal brutal Sentry, and we've got Ms. Marvel, that's the fake one, the uh, Moonstone disguised as uh, Ms. Marvel. We have, of course, Venom. That's the Mac Gargan version, the only one that my Night Models uh, currently has rules for, or has rules for at all, I should say. We've got Norman Osborn as the Iron Patriot, and we have Ares, the God of War. I also took the Dark Avengers team card that gives everybody an extra willpower. That's not going to make a whole lot of difference with the exception of the Iron Patriot. Uh, the Iron Patriot has a rule called Hidden Goblin where he has to make a willpower check at the beginning of every round or else lose a power because he's got a crazy goblin persona lurking in his head giving him bad advice. So anyway, um, he also has Master Tactician which is a willpower rule as well and so having a bonus to those rules will make that guy a bit more useful. If you're not familiar with the Dark Avengers, uh, this is sort of the storyline where there's an alien invasion and Tony Stark gets the blame, and Norman Osborn gets the credit for defeating it. So uh, Norman Osborn basically takes over the Avengers, and he sets up his own group of Avengers uh, that are all either bad guys or bad guys uh, disguised as good guys, or just crazy people, in the case of, say, the Sentry. But anyway, that's the idea. Let's take a look at my opponent's team. And here they are. Uh, leading the charge, we have Captain America, then there's Spider-Man, of course, Wolverine next to him, and the invincible Iron Man. Then in the back, we have uh, the lovable, incredible Hulk. So here's the table after deployment. We're going to be playing the big combat scenario, which is just fine with me. I just played a, a game of that. You may have seen that earlier. It's the one with Thanos fighting a bunch of uh, heroes. In this case, you take your highest level character, you put him in the middle, everyone else uh, goes on a table edge and deploys six, inch from the, six inches from that edge. So, of course, there's really no, there, there's no contest on this one. We have the Incredible Hulk facing off against the Sentry. I guess they have a few unresolved issues back from the World War Hulk storyline. They've got to settle a few things. Here's my opponent's deployment. He's clustered his guys relatively close. He wants to get in on the action. He's got a fast crew. Spider-Man is fast. Uh, Wolverine and Captain America both have Agile, so they can make double moves. And, of course, Iron Man flies. So Spider-Man's off a little bit to the side, but otherwise these guys are going to make a beeline for, towards that uh, melee happening in the middle of the table. I'm doing much the same thing. I've got Ares and Venom there in the center. They're going to run up to try and help. But I've kept my ranged people off a little bit to the sides. Those people are a little bit more vulnerable to attacks, and they don't really want to be in their swing punches. They'd rather blast people with their various uh, lasers and uh, that sort of thing. So Ms. Marvel's off to the left, and Iron Patriot is off to the right. And so we go into the Bag of Destiny, and we draw a counter to see who gets the first turn. On the first turn of the game, all the, uh, the, the champions in the center of the table are plus two defense. I managed to draw my counter, which is fantastic, so I'm going to immediately activate Sentry. Sentry's going to go, and he's going to perform a Sentry Strike on the Hulk. That's only going to do one point of damage to the Hulk, because of course he has that resistance one to physical. But then I'm going to go for a throw, and the throw was a big deal. Um, I managed to hit, which is, which is fantastic, because Sentry doesn't have a great attack uh, value. So I'm going to throw the Hulk 10 inches back towards my lines. That's going to knock him down, and it's going to put him right in range of all of my dudes. And it's also going to hand that guy a total of 3 damage, because, of course, uh, Sentry has a strength of 5. 
So he's going to take 4 damage, minus 1 for his uh, resistance. Anyway, uh, that's a great opening salvo. I've got 1 power left. I could use it to defend, but I think it's better because the sentry is a really fast guy. I'm just going to fly back towards my lines. Uh, my hope is that I am going to just get away from his charging heroes. So it's my opponent's turn, and he has to activate a person. He actually wants the Hulk to take a little damage. The Hulk gets stronger as he gets hurt. So he's taking a little bit of a risk. The Hulk is on the ground, surrounded by my guys. Um, but he's actually looking to get that guy hurt so he can start swinging a little bit harder. So he's going to activate Iron Man first. Iron Man is going to fly up by those shipping containers in the center of the board. Sure enough, he's not able to get close enough to actually start blasting my people, but that's what he's going to do. I'm going to activate Ms. Marvel next. Ms. Marvel is going to shuffle off to the left there. She's going to draw a clear line of sight to the Hulk, who's down on the ground, and she's going to fire off her Force Blasts. She's going to do two of them. She's going to hit twice, which is nice. Uh, the Hulk doesn't obviously have a great defense uh, lying down on the ground like that. He's not great at dodging. Uh, but of course, he is resistant to energy as well, so he's going to take a total of two damage. Spider-Man is going to do much the same thing as Iron Man. He's gonna, just going to move straight up the board. He's going to hop up on those shipping containers right there. I keep going with my ranged people. Iron Patriot doesn't want to shoot through that fence. He doesn't want to give uh, the Hulk any cover, so he moves a little bit, and he fires off uh, his Repulsor Blasts. Uh, I think he only ends up doing one damage, but that's okay. Next, I don't really want the Hulk getting up. I want... I, I've really decided I'm going to go for this guy. I'm going to try and pile on as much damage. I'm going to try and take out the Hulk as soon as possible. There's really only two strategies to dealing with the Hulk. One is to ignore him. Don't put any damage on him and let, just let him do what he's going to do. The other is just concentrate fire on him. Uh, try and bring as much strength to bear on him uh, as quickly as possible. That's what I'm, I'm going for here. So Norman Osborn is going to, he's going to use Master Tactician. He passes the roll. Oh, by the way, he, uh, he did in fact fail his Hidden Goblin test in the beginning. Uh, so he was down to power. But the good news is, is that he gets his team together and he motivates Ares to run up there. And he's going to go and I'm going to use his red ability right away. I mean, I've got a great shot here. Ares has got a sky high attack. He's got a master fighter so he can reroll one of those dice. And Hulk is there on the ground. So I might as well go for my red ability, the Wrath of God. Uh, the reason I want to do this attack is even though it doesn't cause as much damage as some of my other stuff, it does have stun 3, and I'm a little worried Hulk's going to get up and really start laying down some hurt here, and so I want to take away some of those power counters that he's going to get because he's going down, in, uh, down on his health track. So he does manage to hit, so he's going to do 2 damage, he's going to cause 3 stuns, so Hulk loses 3 power counters, and I'm going to follow that up with a God Strike, and I'm going to cause another 1 damage. So my opponent chooses to activate the Hulk next. So the Hulk is down a bunch of counters. Uh, he does have to stand up and all that. So he's not able to actually do a whole lot this round. So all Hulk's going to do is he's going to get up. He's going to try a Hulk smash on Ares. But Ares just has a monstrously high physical defense. So Hulk's actually going to miss. And he's going to back up just a touch to try and get away from all these uh, bad guys surrounding him. So now I have a choice to make. I've got uh, Venom uh, left to go, and Venom has the Fury skill, which will reduce all his defenses, and I can only do it once. But it gives him a lot of advantages. It gives him plus one damage on his attacks, gives him plus two attack, gives him three extra power counters. Hey, if I'm going to go get the Hulk, I'm going to go get the Hulk. So I activate Venom's Fury. I move him up, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try his red ability. So I'm really burning through my red abilities here. The red ability is the one that you can only use once a game. I'm going to do the symbiote, uh, symbiote Bite on the Hulk. Nice thing about that attack is it's irresistible, so Hulk's toughness isn't going to matter. Uh, I do hit with that, so that goes straight through. I get a plus one damage because I'm on Fury right now, so Hulk's going to take just a giant six damage. And then I'm going to follow that up with two Claw Strikes. I believe they both hit, which is going to cause him a total of four more damage. The Hulk is now in the red. He is super hurt. He's only got one health remaining, and he has to make an immediate stamina test to stay awake. He actually goes and fails it. Hulk's got a real high stamina, but my opponent is unlucky here, and Hulk passes out, and so he just drops uh, from this onslaught by Venom. His teammates are seeing the problem there, so they're trying to hustle up as fast as they can. Wolverine makes a double move up the board. And then the last activation of the round is Captain America. Captain America does the same thing. He double moves because of Agile. He comes up. Now he has a ranged attack. He can throw that shield. So he does a shield bounce and he knocks it off Venom's head. I think that causes about three damage because Captain America has heroic action, which gives him plus one damage to his first attack. 
Anyway, so yeah, he's landed a little bit of damage, but the Hulk uh, is is in a lot of trouble, and of course, I get a lot of victory points for taking out uh, my opponent's champion. At the end of the round, Venom is going to regenerate one of his health as well, so that's not great for my opponent. So it's time to draw a counter to see who takes the lead for the second round, and I get it again. So this is great news. I've got a bunch of bad guys lined up right there. I want to activate Venom first because he's down uh, three on all of his defenses until he activates. So I want to get those defenses back up a little bit. So he's going to go and he's going to do his spray template, that awesome uh, uh, you know, flamethrower template attack. And he's going to hit Wolverine and Captain America. And most importantly, he's going to uh, hit the Hulk. The Hulk cannot dodge it because he is unconscious, so he is automatically going to take one damage, and the Hulk is out. That's all it took, so uh, Venom goes, and he does all these writhing, nasty tentacles, and just pummels the Hulk, and so Banner's going to have to go sleep that off somewhere. Not only that, but they took a big bite out of him on their way. Uh, Venom has the cannibal skill, so he actually heals two damage from that. Uh, Captain America and Wolverine, they both have the acrobat skill, so they're not in any real danger of failing the agility test to take half damage, but they do both take one damage, which is fine. So I've got a little bit of power left with Venom. I probably should have moved him back and tried to preserve him a little bit, but I think, eh, no, I've got one guy down. Let's move on to the next most dangerous character. That's probably Wolverine. So Venom's going to move up, and he's going to try a claw attack on that guy, on Logan, and he is going to miss, unfortunately. And that gives my opponent the activation. Well, Wolverine is right where he wants to be. And so he is just going to fire a barrage of snicks on Venom. He's going to hit three times. He's going to cause a total of six damage. So that just tears a chunk out of that symbiote from uh, Mr. Matt Gargan there. Ms. Marvel flies up onto that shipping container and she's going to take that force blast and she's going to aim it at Wolverine. I believe she's going to hit. She's going to cause two damage, but that's about it for her. Iron Man is going to fly up a little further and he's going to take that opportunity to fire his Repulsor Blast. So my opponent is doing kind of the same thing I was, which I think is really the best way to play this game, is to find someone to pick on and then concentrate as much firepower on them as possible. And so he's going to try and take out Venom. So uh, the bad news is, though, that uh, Iron Man goes and misses with his Repulsor Blast. So now I'm going to activate Sentry. So what happens here... And I talked to my opponent to make sure I was able to do this, but as to my understanding of the rules, this is all, this is all perfectly uh, legit. Uh, Sentry is going to fly up next to Iron Man. Now, uh, so there used to be two stacks of shipping containers there. He's actually going to pick up the shipping container that both of them are standing on, and he's going to do like, uh, the flowers are still standing, whip it out from underneath both of them. They both fly, and it's just a short drop, so they're not going to take any damage. But then he's just going to go and drop it on Iron Man's head. He's, so it's a throw attack on the shipping container that they're both standing on. Iron Man fails his agility roll, and he takes four damage to the face as Sentry just uh, plummets this, this big container down on, on his metal noggin. So there's Iron Man on the ground in base contact with Sentry. That's fantastic. Hey, let's use up all my red abilities. I'm going to go and use Death Blow. Uh, so... Sentry is going to just reach down and, and do that big uh, killer move there. He manages to hit, which is great, and so he's going to do another four damage onto Iron Man. He just reaches down and rips off like half of that, uh, that armor there. Well, this is all looking like kind of bad news, so Spider-Man's going to try and help out as best he can. Uh, he really wants to take out Venom because uh, he's sick of that guy. He's going to swing down. He's going to do a swing kick on Venom. Venom is going to take two damage. Oh, and I forgot to mention, because we actually realized this a little bit late, um, Sentry has an ability called the Void, which means that for every damage that for every damaging he, attack he does, someone on his team has to take one damage themselves because he's got this... Uh, gross alter en uh, entity uh, inside him that uh, does bad things for every uh, for every you know like good thing he does. So anyway, uh, we have to apply two more damage to Venom. So Venom's he, he he's running down his health bar there. It's no secret that Norman Osborn is not a huge fan of most of the people that he's fighting. He decides there's one too many Iron Man uh, suits on the table right now. So he's going to fly forward a little bit and he's going to launch three repulsor blasts into the prone form of Tony Stark. 
He's not going to get a better shot than this because Iron Man, of course, is on the ground and can't do much about it. Anyway, he's going to hit, uh, I think, all three times, and he's just going to blast that guy straight off the field. So now my opponent is down another combatant. It's Captain America's turn, and he's going to go uh, be the hero that he is. He's going to start off with a shield bounce, which I think hits. Uh, he's going to come in and then try a meteor kick. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much damage he does here between heroic actions and all that kind of thing. It's probably around three total. Anyway, that pushes Venom into the red, um, so Venom's got to make a stamina test. His symbiote does give him a reroll, so he is going to stay on his feet. For my final action, I'm going to send Ares in there. Again, I'm going to try and pick on Wolverine. I'm going to see if I can't take that guy out, because he does a scary amount of damage. Unfortunately, Ares is going to miss with all of his attacks, which is not great. And at the end of the round, Venom manages to stay standing. He passes that stamina roll again, even though in the red he's down, he, he's minus one stamina. So... Third round, third time in a row, I'm going to take the lead. I draw my counter from the bag, and so that's great. Venom regained one because of regeneration, um, but I figure he's on his way out. So if I'm going to activate him, I kind of have to activate him now. So I take that guy, I move him back a little bit. I want, you know, if they're going to come get me, they at least have to, you know, advance a little bit. And I'm going to use that fantastic uh, symbiote tendrils uh, ability, the spray template. It might not be the best way of doing it. You know, I said you really want to concentrate on one character at a time, and this is kind of spreading a little bit of damage around to everybody. But uh, still, it's a really good blue ability. So I move back, I do that, everyone passes uh, their agility test, they're all acrobats, but they all do take one damage. And I even managed to destroy that little crate that Spider-Man was standing on. So next is Spider-Man. Spider-Man, I believe, is going to try and shoot Venom with impact webbing and with his swing kick. Uh, Either Spider-Man misses completely or he only does one damage. Uh, Venom has a pretty good defense. I think I upped his physical defense against these attacks. And uh, Impact Rubbing only does one damage anyway. So yeah, I think uh, that's it for Spider-Man and Venom is still doing all right. All right, but here comes Sentry. Sentry has a lot of options. I'm not exactly sure this is the best way of doing it. Um, but I really, I really like this ability. I'm going to do... Uh, Sentry's Thousand Exploding Suns ability. So I'm going to fly behind all these heroes and Sentry's just going to explode. He's going to turn into an incandescent Nova and everyone within five inches has to make agility tests or take a pile of damage. Again, all those guys are acrobats. They're all going to pass it no problem, but they do each get handed another two damage. And of course, we're going to clear out all that terrain around there. We're going to damage that helipad. We're going to clear out all those shipping containers. Uh, yeah, so we, we've just made a big crater in the center of the table. So next up is Captain America. Captain America is going to come in here and try and finish off Venom. I don't think he rolls really well. I think this is the one where he missed his first attack, so he doesn't get that heroic attack. And uh, yeah, I don't think he does great here against Venom. But that does put him in the range of the Repulsor Blast for Iron Patriot. Iron Patriot is going to pass that Hidden Goblin willpower test again. He's going to just fire a bunch of blasts into good old Captain. Uh, I think he's going to do four damage to him, uh, which is really good. And he's going to use Master Tactician again. And so we're going to activate Ares. Ares is going to try to preserve some health on some people. I have given up on doing much of anything to Wolverine. I'm just not able to get through that defense. So I just want him out of here for the time being. So Ares just picks up Wolverine, manages to uh, get that throw off again, which is great. I'm, I'm getting a little lucky with getting my tit rolls on the throws. And I just chuck him 10 inches away. I just try and move him as far from the action as I possibly can. That's going to cause 3 damage to Wolverine because he has that adamantium skeleton and that's the maximum damage he can take. But then I'm going to, with the remainder of my power, move over to Captain America and I'm going to uh, swing at him with a god strike. I believe I do another 2 damage. Well, Wolverine doesn't have a ton of great options. He's really far away, so he's got to use a lot of his uh, power to get up and then make a double run. The only person he can really get close to is Sentry, which he happily walks up to and snicks him uh, for, another, for, for two damage. But that's not going to make much of an impact on him. And finally, I got Ms. Marvel here. Captain America is in cover, but she's going to blast away at him anyway. She's going to cause uh, two damage to that guy. Captain America, I believe, is in the pale. Venom is in the red. So they both have stamina tests to make. They both get rerolls. They're both fine. They're both standing and fighting. Wolverine, Venom, and Ares are all going to regenerate one health. So it's the next round, and finally my opponent manages to pull his marker from the bag, and so he's going to go first. He's going to immediately uh, activate Captain America. 
He's just going to go and meteor kick Venom uh, underneath the chin. He's going to get a crit on that guy. He's going to do two damage. That's what he needed to take him off the table. So he just kapow. He uh, knocks out Mac Gargan uh, until that symbiote wakes him up again. And then he's going to move back uh, to the rest of his teammates. He's going to lend out that leadership bonus that he gives. Ares is going to activate next. We're going to keep picking on Captain America. I uh, actually move uh, directly between Spider-Man and Captain America in case I get really lucky and I want to throw attacks at both of them. Uh, it's not to be, though. He he throws an attack on Captain America and Captain Shield ba- uh, blocks it, so I can't do that again. Uh, I do land another attack, either uh, God Strike or Wrath of Zeus or whatever, and I think I, I give another two damage to Captain America, but um, that's all. Wolverine is going to move in, and he's going to throw a Berserker Barrage of Snicks onto Ares. I don't think my opponent's rolling super well, because I think Ares only takes another two damage. He's got just a giant amount of health. He's not too worried. So Sentry wants to get in there and do the same thing. Unfortunately, he can't quite get it so that his base touches both Wolverine and Captain America. So I've got to choose one or the other. Well, I really want to just get rid of Captain America, so I decide to to be in base contact with him. So Sentry flies in, uh, and I decide the best shot is to just try and throw the Captain. And so he grabs and throws Captain America. Again, I get lucky with that to hit roll. I do manage to hit the Captain. I'm going to throw him at Wolverine. Wolverine easily dodges out of the way, but that's four damage to Captain America. He can't take that. So uh, he's incapacitated as well. He's off the table. It's up to Spider-Man. Uh, it's looking bad for my opponent. He's only got those two guys left. He's going to run in there, and he's going to try and beat up the God of War, and that goes about as well as you would expect it would. Uh, Spider-Man does not have great offense. He's got a low attack, and he does not have a lot of damaging abilities, but he's going to try it. You go, Peter Parker. Unfortunately, he's going to miss with all of his attacks. Well, Iron Patriot is absolutely thrilled with exactly where he is, so he's going to stay there, and he's going to continue to fire Repulsor Blasts into whoever wanders within his sights. In this case, it's going to be Wolverine. Um, He passes his Hidden Goblin test. He's just going to blast away and do another four damage to Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine goes into the red, and he actually goes KO. Uh, Again, my opponent is not... Is not rolling super well. He even with the reroll for Soldier, Wolverine uh, passes out, and so Iron Patriot goes and uh, Master Tacticians, Ms. Marvel, Ms. Marvel's gonna fly up, uh, get a little bit of line of sight, uh, better line of sight on all these guys, uh, beating the tar out of each other in the center. Uh, she's going to blast Wolverine for another four damage, and he can't take that. He gets a little bit fried. He's gonna have to spend some time at the X Mansion healing. Wolverine is also off the table. It's new round, and wouldn't you know it, I take the lead again. So I see no reason not to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to activate Iron Patriot, and he's going to shoot at Spider-Man. Peter Parker just has a giant defense. He's not terribly threatened by, by being blasted. People Certainly not Norman Osborn. He's, he's used to this kind of thing. So Iron Patriot's going to miss with all of his attacks. He's going to do Master Tactician right away. He's going to activate Ms. Marvel. They've got a little bit of a teamwork going up there, blasting away at the same target. Uh, Unfortunately, she is also going to miss. Spider-Man, for his part, is going to do his attacks onto Ares, but uh, you just don't mess with the God of War. Ares is not concerned, and uh, he uh, he is missed with all of those those spider punches. Uh, Spider-Man is just going to move a touch away after that. Ares is going to come in, and we're going to do more of the same. He's going to try and grab and throw Spider-Man. Unfortunately, he misses that attack. He does hit with the God Strike, and so it delivers another two damage to Spider-Man. But uh, Spider-Man's kind of hanging in there. He's, he's being a trooper. Sentry is also going to move in. He's also going to try and throw, and he also misses, which is not terribly surprising. However, uh, it's you know you can see the frustration on Norman Osborn. Someone smash that bug! But uh, he does hit with a sentry strike, so Spider-Man does finally take three damage. So it's the last round of the game. It's pretty obvious uh, where this is all heading, but we're going to finish this out. We're gonna, the, the heroes are going to finish this strong. Unfortunately, I, again, even though, you know, it's like uh, my opponent has probably twice as many counters in the bag as I do. Again, uh, another one of my counters is drawn. I get to go first. Iron Patriot, we're going to do the same thing again. Iron Patriot is going to go first. He's going to blast away at Spider-Man. This time, uh, that Iron Man suit must have kicked in. He's got some predictive software in there, and so I am able to hit him twice. He's going to take four damage. That's going to put Spider-Man in the red, and again, my opponent is going to fail his stamina test. 
so Spider-Man passes out. I immediately do a master tactician. I don't want this guy getting up again. Ms. Marvel is going to finish the job. She's going to do a final uh, power blast on Spider-Man. That's going to see all of his health gone, and the Dark Avengers have win won the game. Uh, the real Avengers are going to have to skulk away and uh, leave uh, these guys to whatever nefarious business they were doing in this construction yard. I'm really happy I got to play uh, that game. Again, I want to play more of this Marvel Superheroes game. It's a really fun system, uh, real simple to learn, and I'm, it's really nice to play against someone who, who knew the rules and we can just kind of throw down and, and try and do uh, as well as we, we possibly could. Uh, it turned out a little lopsided, unfortunately. Um, I just got really lucky with both my activations, uh, especially in the beginning, and with my throws. If Hulk had gone first in the beginning, or if I had missed that throw to send Hulk back towards my lines, or you know, kick Wolverine really far away or all those other things. Uh, it could have definitely been a different game, but uh, as it was, it was a big win to the Dark Avengers. Anyway, I thank my opponent for, uh, for a great game. I hope to play him again. Those are all his models that he's got painted, uh, which was also nice to, to play against a fully painted, uh, um, you know, uh, gang crew superhero team. Let me know what you think. Leave comments, questions, concerns, that kind of thing in the section below, and I will see you on the next one.